Amen. Good morning po sa ating lahat. Yes. Welcome po ulit sa GCF Santa Rosa Church. Before we start, um, pwede po ba natin batiin ang ating mga katabi sa harap, sa likod? We are glad that you are here with us today to worship the Lord. Yeah. Later on, we will be we will be praying, we will be singing, and we will be listening to God's word. And later on, hopefully, we could exercise um, encouraging one another through various expressions of our love. So, before we start, let me read you from Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the council of the upright and the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works, giving them the lands of the other nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever, enacted in faithfulness and uprightness. He provided redemption for his people. He ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs eternal praise. So uh, this morning, I would like to invite everyone to think of the blessings that you have received throughout the week. Give thanks to the Lord for all the things that you have done, He has done for you. Let us bow our heads and pray. Our Holy Father, you are the fountain of every blessing. You have allowed us to enjoy your gifts. Thank you for the family and friends that we can always count on. Thank you for the brethren in our church. Thank you for our leaders, pastors, elders, and deacons, and even members that keep on being good examples in their love, cooperation, and patience for one another. Thank you for the city we live in and the government that keep our peace in check. Thank you for the food that we have enjoyed. Thank you for healing when we, whenever we get sick. Thank you for the knowledge and wisdom you give us in our work or schooling. All these good gifts come from your invisible, wise, generous, and loving hand. Above all, we thank you for Jesus Christ, for he is your ultimate gift for us. All the things in this world will never be compared to what you have done, you have done for us through his life, his death, and his resurrection. He is worthy of all our praises, and we will gladly and joyingly give these praises back to him. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Let us all stand up and let us sing, This is my Father's world. This is my Father's world, and to my listening ears, all nature sings and drowning rings, the music of the spheres. This is my Father's world, I rest me. Take a moment and humble ourselves before our God. Let's allow him to search our hearts and recall any sin or shortcomings or worries that linger in our thoughts. Let us pray to our God.
most holy and merciful Father, we know that we have not loved you with all of our heart, soul, and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We could have been more devoted to you. We could have been more patient with others. We could have been more loving. We could have been more empathic towards others' needs. We could have been more forgiving as we ought to. We could have, had, we could have fought better to kill our lust, greed, pride, and envy. You know our hidden sins, and yet you offer us new mercies every morning. Forgive us our sins, our Father. We have miserably failed so many times, and we are sorry so many times. And yet in Jesus, we have someone to turn to. In Him, we have a hiding place. So help us fight our sins better as we grow in holiness and become more loving like your son. Help us to remember that though our sins and shortcomings accuse us guilty, may we find comfort in the truth that they will not stand against us because on the cross, all our sins, past, present, and future have been laid on Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen.
for a friend we have in
po ay umupo muna for sa panalangin. Siguro po bago tayo mag-start sa panalangin, uh, hindi ko po alam kung yung sumusunod po sa news, no, yung nangyayari po sa Israel, yung yung, yung gera po. No? Uh, sorry po kung medyo emotional ako kasi this morning I was watching yung yung nangyari doon sa side ng Israel. Iniisip ko lang kasi, sabi ko, what if kung tayo yung nandun? No? Kasi I, I've watched yung isang video na yung, di ba, mayroong parang concert or something. Nagpunto, nagpunta sila sa isang bomb shelter. No? And then sa bomb shelter, nandun sila lahat. Parang ini-imagine ko lang, what if nandun tayo? What if my son is there? Kasi what yung, yung kabilang kampo, yung ginawa nila. Well, these are young adults, by the way. No? They're in the bomb shelter. Ang, ang, ang ginawa po, yung ng granada, no? And they are, they, there are so many people there. So, so I'm just imagine, Lord, then. and then, the, the, this morning then, and then, on the other side naman then, meron pong um, uh, six-wheeler, no? na di, di ba po binigyan ng Israel yung sagasa naman na parang deadline for them to move, no? And then dun sa, dun po sa trailer na yun, no? I think there are 70 people there, children and families. And then, kasi nga binobomba po ng Israel yung Gaza part. And those trailer, dalawa po yung magkasunod, tinamaan po ng bomba. And there are small children there, no? Uh, kumbaga, the Lord is kumbaga, uh, I hope we see no? the, the, hindi na po ito yung side whether uh, tama ba yung ginawa ng isang camp or what Ang may, uh, meaning what, what we see uh, sa akin po from what I'm seeing this really the, 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 the works of the enemy meaning the horrors of war at hindi lang po yung nangyayaring ito no? in the many parts uh, sa Africa ganun din po no and, and, and indeed, today, no, sana po may, may makita natin how blessed we are that, that we are here right now together, worshiping the Lord, having the comforts of this place, air condition and everything. Uh, I, I know each and every one of us, each and every one of us, we have our own personal burden. Na sometimes we don't see also the burden of others, but Sa akin po kasi when, when, when I pray, I always put myself uh, in that situation. If I'm a parent in, in that place, let's say sa Israel, I'll be praying for peace. No? The, the, for the war to stop because there's really the horrors of that. So, ngayon po as we come, no? as you come today in prayer, may, may we really put ourselves in the things that we're going to pray for. Sama po natin yung pong nangyayari sa ganung lugar po. Kaya let's come before the Lord in prayer. Muli Panginoon, Indeed, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, indeed, how blessed we are. Lord, that we are your children. How blessed we are, Lord, that you have saved us. If there's one thing, Father, that we are very thankful for right now, and it is, Lord God, that you have called us your children. Lord, if there is one thing, Lord, that we are so thankful for right now, it's because, Lord, you have saved us. You have given your Son, our Father in heaven, you have given your Son to die on the cross for our sins. Though, Lord, what we are experiencing in this life, Lord, they are momentary troubles, momentary trials, Lord, and yet, Lord, it cannot compare. It cannot compare to the glory that awaits us, Lord God, when we shall be with you in heaven. And, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that in spite of 
of all the things, Lord God, that are happening around us. Even, Lord, in our lives, Lord, whatever circumstances we are in, even in many parts, even those wars, Lord, that we are seeing happening right now, and even calamities, Father, affected by different calam calamities. And yet, Lord, we have this hope, Lord, that you are sovereign. Lord, that you are in control of everything. Everything, all of this, oh Lord God, will come to pass because you have put a date, Father, wherein, Lord God, Lord, one day, Father, you will redeem everything. Everything, Lord God, will be changed, Father. There will be no more crying, no more pain, Lord God, but exuberant joy being with you, Lord God, for eternity. But Lord, while we are here in this life, Lord, though we are hopeful, Lord God, we are looking forward to that day, Lord God, that we shall be with you in heaven. And it will experience exuberant joy, Lord God, seeing you, Lord. And yet, here we are in this life. Lord, salamat, hindi niyo po kami iniwan habang nandito po ko sa mundong ito. Binigay niyo po ang inyo pong banal spirito po sa amin. Binigay niyo po, Panginoon, mga tao na magagamit niyo po para po kami palakasin. Binigay niyo po, Lord, our leaders, our pastor, all the workers, Lord. And Lord, even binigay niyo pong bawat isa po sa amin, para bawat miyempro po ng iglesyang ito. Para kami nga po, O Diyos, ay magpalakasan. In spite, Lord God, the circumstances na nangyayari sa aming personal na buhay, in spite, Lord God, sa mga nangyayari po sa mga ibang lugar, Panginoon. Lord, we trust in your goodness, in your faithfulness, Lord, that you will deliver us through. Lord God, marami pong salamat. At muli, Panginoon, tinatas nga po namin itong mga kaguluhan itong nangyayari, Lord. Ito nga po sa Israel, sa Gaza, iba pang mga lugar, Panginoon. Alam po namin, meron po mga kasalukuyang mga gera ng nangyayari, Lord God, even calamities, Lord. Panginoon, to nang hinipo namin yung pong habag. Lord, kahit po panandalian lamang po magkaroon po, Panginoon, ng kapayapaan, Panginoon, sa mga lugar pong ito na apektado. Mga pamilya po, Panginoon, may mga anak, hindi, hindi po nila alam kung saan sila kukuha ng pagkain, kung saan sila pupunta para po sila maingatan po, Panginoon. Lord, ito po mga nagdadalamhati, Panginoon, dahil nga po, Lord, they, they have been victims, Lord God, of this heinous, Lord God, acts, Lord God. Father, Lord, tuning, Lord, we pray, Father, for your comfort for them. At the same time, Lord, we pray, Lord God, kayo nga po, Panginoon, ang, Lord, may your will be done, Father. Kayo nga pong kimilos po, Panginoon. Panginoon, to reach out to these people like going through terrible pains, Lord God. Father, Lord, may you provide, Father, for, for them, whether it be food, Lord God, may it be shelter, Lord God. May it be comfort, Lord. Lord, marami pong salamat. Salamat po, O Diyos. At kami po, Panginoon, na naririto, Panginoon. Kami nga po, Lord God, patuloy pong manalangin, patuloy rin pong magtiwala po sa inyo, sa amin din po mga personal na pangailangan, sa iba po sa amin, Lord, going through bereavement, Lord, loved ones we've lost, Father. Lord, going through pains or sickness, Father. Lord, needing financial need, Lord, for our children, Father. Lord, we pray, Father. Kayo rin po, Panginoon, siyang tumugon, Panginoon. Tunay nga kayo pong aming Ama sa langit. Kayo po nagsabi, Panginoon, sa inyo pong salita. Panginoon, na wag po kami mag-alala. Kahit po aming bilang na aming buhok, buhok Panginoon, ay alam niyo po, Panginoon, mga ibon, Panginoon, na siyang lumilipad, Panginoon, and yet they live, Lord God, walang nagpapakain sa Kanya. Lord, sa kanila, you, you mentioned that for us not to be worried, but rather for us to focus on one thing, Lord. And may you help us to focus on one thing, to seek first your kingdom and your, your righteousness. And you have promised, Lord God, if you will do that, Lord, you've said, Father, that everything shall be added unto us. Every need that we need, Lord God, you will provide, Father. Lord, marami pong salamat. Salamat nga po, Panginoon. At ganun din po, Panginoon, as we listen, Lord God, to the preaching of your word, Lord, muli, kausapin niyo po kami, Panginoon. Kung meron nga po kaming mga dapat pong talikuran na, Panginoon, Lord, mga habits, Lord God, that we need, Father, Lord God, to To, to change, Lord God. Father, allow us, Lord God, 
to Lord, let your word, Father, correct us. Let your word guide us. Let the preaching of your word, Father, Lord God, Lord, um, transform us, Father. Use, Lord God, muli si Pastor Raul, aming Pastor Panginoon, as he preaches your word this, uh, this morning. Salamat, Lord, at kayo pong tumulong po sa kanya to be able, Lord God, to deliver, to speak your word, not with eloquence, Father, but, Lord, with the anointing, with the power of your Holy Spirit, Father. And us, Lord, who are right now going to listen to your word, Lord, allow us to focus, allow us to be attentive. Allow us, Lord God, our thoughts, Lord God, our mind and our hearts, Lord God, to be centrally focused, Lord God, to you this morning, Father. Lord, marami pong salamat. We pray, Lord God, for, Lord, of the concerns of our church, of this church, your church, Lord God. We pray for the upcoming church camp, Lord. As we prepare for it, Lord, help us, Lord, the organizer, the committee's Father. But more so, Lord God, prepare our hearts, Lord, to encounter you, to experience you, Lord God. Lord, in the three days, Father, that we shall be there. We pray for provision. We pray for your help for others who desire to be there. But Lord, due to financial um, na, na need, Father, won't be able to make it. Kayo rin po mag-provide po, Panginoon. Even the weather, Lord, maganda rin po sana maging panahon, O Diyos. At ganun din po, Lord, salamat. Yesterday, Lord, you have added the uh, um, members to this church. You have added, Lord, ito pong mga nag-undergo ng water baptism. Salamat nga po, Panginoon, for these brothers, these sisters, Lord God, that you have brought to this church. And Father, we continue to pray that uh, especially the 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 evangelism ministry, Lord, in this church, uh, coffee evangelism, outreaches, Lord God, um, in, in different places, Lord. Gamitin niyo po ito, Panginoon, na to add more, Lord God, souls, Lord God, into your kingdom, into this church na gagamitin niyo nga po, Panginoon. Muli, Lord, marami pong salamat. Pati na rin po sa upcoming, Lord God, uh, election for leaders, we pray, guide us, guide us all, Father. Lord, um, kayo po, Panginoon, ang siya magtaas po, ang dapat pong manguna po sa amin pong lahat, Panginoon, sa iglesyang ito. Muli, Lord, marami pong salamat. At uh, tunay nga, Lord, we, we just want to thank you, Lord, for your goodness, for your favor, Father. Indeed, Lord, you are God who reigns, you are Alpha, our Father in heaven, our Almighty God, and we entrust to you all in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen.
Tayan day po, mga kapatid. Parang medyo tahimik tayo, ha? <laughs> Yan. I praise the Lord kanina doon sa ating uh, slides, no? Nakakatuwa. We welcome uh, seven uh, people kahapon. Uh, they followed uh, the Lord Jesus Christ through water baptism. It's a praise item para po sa ating church. And uh, next week, we'll be welcoming them dito sa ating uh, right hand. So, I would like to invite you. Uh, samahan po natin sila na i-welcome after the second service. Kumusta po kayo mga kapatid? Okay saman? I don't know kung ano po ang inyong uh, condition po ngayon. No? Of course, alam ng Panginoon. And alam nyo rin po kung anong uh, pinagdadaanan nyo ngayon. And uh, the good thing about God is whatever circumstance or whatever condition you are in right now, He wants you to come to Him as, just as you are. No? And He would gladly welcome you sa Kanyang presensya. And He wants to speak to you. He wants to uh, help you and transform your life as uh, you uh, respond to Him. And that's my prayer for you today no? sa ating uh, pakikinig ng salita ng Diyos. It's my prayer that each one of us uh, may encounter the Lord sa lugar na ito and that uh, we would come out of this place na renewed sa presensya ng ating pong Panginoon. Uh, we are on our third week dito po sa ating pong series na Recharge. No? And uh, the title of our message today is Deepening Your Prayer Life. No? It is our aim no, na tayong lahat lumago po sa ating uh, pananalangin or prayer life. Kumusta po ang inyong prayer life? Are you growing? Uh, can you honestly say na kayo po ay lumalago sa inyong uh, uh, buhay pananalangin? No? Yan. So, I hope that uh, we are able to challenge you uh, through the messages. No? It is our aim na mas lalo tayong lumalim sa uh, pananalangin. No? Uh, siguro, I want to begin by asking you a question. Ano? Uh, kayo po ba, have you experienced uh, being distracted while praying? Maybe you start praying and then as you, as you uh, utter words to God, you suddenly uh, uh, lose, uh, your mind drifts off and you lose focus. Nangyari na ba sa inyo uh, How do you deal with that? Actually, it happens to me, uh, it, it happened to me several times uh, in my life. Kahit po ako yung pastor na, may mga time din na nangyari sa akin. I was so distracted. I lacked focus in prayer. And there was a, cha- there was a time, uh, I was, uh, kumbaga, na- Gabi na po yun, no? uh, I remember several years ago, before ako matulog, I, I prayed to God. No? Kaso parang pagod na pagod na ako noon, saka inaantok. No? So, no, ako po ay pahiga na, nagpray ako, sabi ko, Lord, thank you for this food. At nung sinabi ko po yun, bilang nahimasmasan ako, no? sabi ko, ay Lord, sorry po, ano? sorry po, hiyang hiya ako sa Panginoon. No? Kaya ba may mga ganong uh, experiences din? It seemed uh, funny, but it's actually uh, embarrassing. Sa, para sa, in, my, in my case, ano, parang yung ako sa Panginoon. And then I realized na it's very important to come to God in prayer with the right attitude. No? And that's uh, where we are going to begin uh, dito po sa ating pong message. No? It is important to have the right attitude in prayer. Kasi sometimes itong mga distraction, they come in sa ating pong pananalangin. And if we, have, if we do not have the right attitude in prayer, then it will actually, it has the potential to ruin our prayer life. And so we need to come to God with the right attitude. Last week, we talked about having the right heart, having the right motive in prayer. No? And today, we'll be talking about right attitude in prayer because I think this is equally important. No? Kung paano tayo nananalangin. No? Ano ba yung attitude natin kapag tayo po ay lumalapit sa Panginoon sa pananalangin? And the text that we are going to talk about is Colossians 4, verse 2. So I hope that uh, you can join me uh, dito po sa passage po na ito. Can we read this all together, mga kapatid? Basahin po natin. No? Colossians 4, verse 2. Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. Now this passage is very short. But let me tell you, it is, its message is so profound because it tells us key elements or essential elements for a deeper prayer life. And this tells us 
kung ano ba yung dapat nating maging attitude bilang mga mananampalataya sa ating pong pananalangin. Ano? May mga ilang mahalagang principles po tayo na makikita dyan. And so the question is, what are the proper attitudes in prayer that were mentioned in the passage? Ano ba yung dapat nating maging uh, yung tamang attitude? And the first is, the first right attitude is steadfastness. Steadfastness. So steadfastness is a right attitude towards God. Why is it so, mga kapatid? And ano ba ang ibig sabihin nung steadfastness? Why is it important in our prayer life? Binagit po yan dyan sa unang part. No? Sabi po dyan ni Paul, continue steadfastly in prayer. Now, the original, in, uh, if we will study the original language, the meaning, it is interesting to note na yung word na ginamit dito ni Apostle Paul, dito po sa continue steadfastly in prayer, it has a very profound meaning because it was used several times in the New Testament, particularly in the book of Acts, referring to prayer. Yan pong word po na yan. Kaya po yung continue steadfastly, uh, in translations, medyo magkakaiba po yan ng pagkakatanslate sa iba-ibang mga Bible translations. So sa ESV, ang sabi, continue steadfastly. Sa NIV, ang sinabi po is, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. The same word was used sa NASB. Ang sabi po sa NASB ay, devote yourselves to prayer. Okay? So, bakit po kaya? Ano? Kasi ang word po na ginamit in the original language is the word proskartereo. Now, uh, wag po kayo masyado matreten dun sa word. No? I'm not uh, requiring you to memorize that. I just want you to see the language uh, behind uh, dito po sa passage po na ito. This word can be translated devoted to or continuing steadfastly. Na? Yan po yung ibig sabihin po ng word na proskartereo. And interestingly, it was mentioned in uh, the book of Acts particularly, referring to the early church. Ano? Sabi po sa Acts chapter 1 verse 14. By the way, have you re- read Acts chapter 1? Ano po ang uh, scenario po dyan? Jesus just ascended to heaven. Na? So, makita natin dyan yung record kung ano ba yung uh, buhay ng mga di- disciples ng Panginoon after umakit siya sa langit. So, we see that in chapter 1. And all these disciples, which according to this chapter, almost 120 na po sila during this time, no, nung umakit si Jesus sa, sa heaven, and they gathered together in, in a place, ang tawag po nila ay upper room, and they were praying there for 10 days you know, before dumating po yung Pentecost. All these disciples with one accord were devoting, ang ginapit mong word ay proskartereo, they were devoting themselves to prayer together with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. Okay, makita natin dito yung, ito yung kanilang priority. They continued steadfastly. Tuloy-tuloy po silang nananalangin. Okay? Now, when in chapter 2, we will see a different scenario. No? Kasi the church grew uh, in, from chapter 1 to chapter 2. Kasi we know that in chapter 2, uh, nag-speak si Apostle Paul. No? And dito pinanganak po yung church. How many members? Dito po sa church po nung uh, inestablish ng Panginoon sa Acts chapter 2. 3,000 people uh, responded to the gospel. And they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, these 3,000 people, ano po yung naging uh, uh, activities nila right after they uh, became Christian? Sabi sa Acts chapter 2, verse 42, And they devoted proskartereo themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and prayers. So, itong 3,000 people, mga Christians to, kanina mga mga apostol, ano? yung mga naiwang disciples ng Panginoon. And dito, may natin, 3,000 people, the members of the New Testament Church, they continued steadfastly in prayer. We see the term, again, in Acts chapter 6. Uh, we know the story of Acts chapter 6. There was a division in the church because of the distribution of food. Ano? Naalala niyo po yun? So, nagbigay ng proposal ang mga apostles sa mga uh, believers during this time. 
because nagkakaroon ng division sa church. And their proposal was uh, to appoint seven men who will become uh, ministers who will distribute uh, the food to the people. And this is what the apostles told the congregation. But we will devote proskartereo, ourselves to prayer, and to the ministry of the word. Is it interesting, mga kapatid, to study that, yung word na yan? It's interesting. We, we can draw out an important principle here, mga kapatid, that for the early Christians, prayer is a constant uh, activity para po sa kanila. They were engaged, deeply engaged sa prayer. For them, prayer is not just part of their life. Prayer is their life. Sila po ay laging nananalangin. And so the key to understand the word proskartereo is it actually means constancy. Madalas. Palagian na sila po ay nananalangin. And that's why the Apostle Paul actually mentioned in um, 1 Thessalonians chapter uh, 5, verse 17, pray without ceasing. What does that mean? Pray without ceasing. It means that our prayers... Should go uh, should should not should never end. You know, we should never give up praying. Hindi po optional ang prayer dapat sa mga mananang palataya. Now, what is the opposite dun po sa salitang proskartereo? Ano pong opposite? The opposite word is being negligent. Ano po ibig sabi ng negligent? Actually, when we are negligent, we are deliberately uh, parang neglecting something. No? And that's why we should not neglect prayer, mga kapatid. It should always be our, uh, kumbaga, kasama sa ating pang-araw-araw po na buhay. That is what prayer is meant to be. Prayer is meant to be an ongoing, continuous dialogue with the Lord. And I say ongoing or continuous, what I mean is there, there should be constancy. Tuloy-tuloy po ang ating pong pananalangin. And I, I, uh, I want you to highlight the word dialogue. No? Because prayer actually is a dialogue. It's not a monologue. Some people think that prayer is about having the right uh, formula or words. Uh, kailangan mag articulate sa pagsasalita, pag-usap sa Panginoon. But it is not a monologue. God is not interested with a monologue. He wants to have an ongoing, continuous dialogue with His people. He wants us to, to, to speak to him, to him, and He also wants to speak to us. And we read that in the Scriptures. Yung mga mananapatay, hindi lang sila nagsasalita. Tama ba? When they were praying, they allowed God to speak to them. In Acts chapter 13, when the uh, disciples were praying, sabi ng Panginoon sa kanila, set aside or set apart Barnabas and Saul or Paul because I will send them to uh, the mission field. So there was a message they received from the Lord. So they recognized that prayer is not just a monologue. No, it's a dialogue between the believer and God. And when I say it's a dialogue, it is a continuous dialogue. Tuloy-tuloy po dapat po ang ating pong pakikipag-usap sa Panginoon. It should not be optional, mga kapatid, yung pong pananalangin. God does not intend for prayer to be an event taking place only at a certain time. But He wants us to always pray. Ano in the Bible, sa Old Testament, merong isang tao na nakita, nakitaan ko ng ganitong uh, character. No? Yung, yung prayer talaga, hindi lang bahagi ng kanyang buhay. Prayer is his life. He always prays, even if the circumstance would not allow or permit him to pray. He would still pray. There would never be anything that can hinder this person sa pananalangin. Do you know the person I'm talking about in the Old Testament? Daniel. See, Daniel, if you read the uh, narrative about Daniel, he keeps on praying every day of his life. He is in tune with the Lord. Even if during his time, there was a prohibition or pinagbabawal, ano, yung pananalangin. Try to imagine, the very thing that Daniel enjoyed 
was illegal during that time. It was illegal to pray. Try to imagine that. Kung ay mananalangin, but you will be, uh, di ba, ikaw ay paparosahan. You will be penalized for praying. But for, Dave, uh, for Daniel, he does not care about kung illegal ba yan o hindi, but he understands that, that prayer is his life. And he continues to face the day. Every day siya po ay laging nananalangin sa ating Panginoon. In the New Testament, another person that we can see praying all the time is the Lord Jesus Christ. Tama ba? Makita natin yung kanyang intimacy with our Father. He keeps on uh, talking and listening to the Father. So there is that uh, constant dialogue with the Lord. And of course, the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul, mahilig po manalangin din. No? We read that in several uh, uh, letters of the Apostle Paul. And he says, I always, in my prayers, I always mention you. I always come to God in prayer. Tuloy-tuloy po ang kanya pong pananalangin. Sabi niya, without ceasing, I pray for you. Tuloy-tuloy po ang kanyang uh, pananalangin. And so, this is crucial, mga kapatid. Our regular time with the Lord is so important to Him, mga kapatid. Think about that. Importante po sa Panginoon yung oras po o yung mga panahon na tayo po lumalapit sa Kanya sa pananalangin. That is so precious to the Lord. And so, don't be negligent, mga kapatid. Huwag po natin ineneglect ang ating pong prayer life. And so, I want to, you to uh, reflect, mga kapatid. Kumusta po ang ating pong uh, buhay pananalangin no? or prayer life? Are we... Uh, steadfast in our prayer life? Do we make it our regular habit or something that we do only kapag meron, akong, meron tayong kailangan sa Panginoon? I want to emphasize here, mga kapatid, that God is not like a vending machine. Nalalapitan lang natin kapag may kailangan tayo. No? God wants us to come to Him regularly in prayer. So, there is that constancy or steadfastness that is needed. That's the right attitude sa ating pong pananalangin. Another attitude that uh, we can note here is attentiveness. Attentiveness. Yung, uh, you are focused. No? There is no distraction. Kayo po, siguro kayo, uh, ayaw nyo rin kausap ang isang tao na sobrang distracted kapag kausap. Yung habang nag-uusap kayo, nanonood siya ng TV, ano? Tapos engaged na engaged siya sa, sa television. Kano man sarita na salita. <laughs> do, you, do you like uh, talking to such uh, person na abang kausap niyo na nanonood ng TV at talagang sumisigaw pa doon sa basketball? No? <laughs> Di ba? You want, you want uh, undistracted conversation. Tama ba? Also, ayaw niyo rin kausap yung siguro yung tao na imagine nyo na, na habang kausap niyo na nag-cellphone, nag uh, nag-chat-chat, nag-social, nag-social media, hindi ba? Or nag-games, di ba? Or maybe, yung isang tao na pagkausap nyo, na ando kayo sa labas, lahat ng taong dumaan, ano? Kakausapin niya, ay, parang, parang tumatakbong kagawad, eh, no? Lahat ng dumaan, eh. Uy, kumusta na? Kumusta? Ikaw naman, nagsasalita, di ba? So it's really hard talking to a person who is distracted. And so if there is an attitude that we should foster sa ating buhay bilang mga mananapataya is attentiveness to God. God desires undistracted uh, prayer life para po sa atin. And we need to do something about our prayer life uh, to uh, guard it mula dun sa mga uh, distractions. Sabi dito ng, uh, ni Apostle Paul, uh, continue steadfastly in prayer being watchful. Yung binanggit niya po dyan ng word ay Gregorio. Ganda po, no? Sino po dito may ang pangalan ng kanyang tatay or lolo ay Gregorio. Si Goyo, ano? Ayun po, ibig sabihin ng Gregorio in the original language, it means to be on guard. Ito lang ibig sabihin, no? Kaya pagka Gregorio pangalan mo, talaga magaling magbantay ito, no? Be on guard, alert, awake, or attentive. So this is crucial, mga kapatid, sa ating pong pananalangin. So the idea here is being focused, being alert. So pagka ikaw po ay gwardya, kunyari, you are guarding a place, 
it necessitates na meron kang ano, yung focus ka doon sa ginagawa mo. It should not be distracted. Tama ba? Hindi pwedeng ikaw ay natutulog. And by the way, the opposite word for Gregorio or watchful is ano, tulog, sleeping. No? It does not, uh, God, in our prayer life, God wants us to be mentally awake. Mentally awake. Hindi po yung nakikipag-usap tayo, pero tulog na tayo. Naranasan niyo po bang kausapin si Lord ng tulog kayo? Parang hirap, ano? I think it's impossible. It's hard to talk to God kung tulog ka. Kasi tulog ka nga eh. How will you be able to talk to the Lord? So, now, if we apply it sa spiritual life natin, mga kapatid, we should be awake. We should be awake whenever we are talking to God in prayer. Hindi pa tayo pwedeng tutulog-tulog na. Kausap natin si Lord eh. So, it requires us to be mentally awake, meaning to be alert, to be attentive, and to be focused sa ating pong Panginoon. Alam nyo, nakakatuwa kasi itong word po na to, ginamit din ni Jesus to call the attention of His disciples or His apostles na nung time na siya po ay bago mamatay, bago dak- dakipin, siya po ay nagpe-pray. Eh, no? Sabi niya sa mga disciples, manalangin kayo. Pero ito po ang nangyari po sa mga disciples. No? Sige, let me read that. Matthew 26:40 And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, "So, could you not watch with one uh, with me one hour?" Ang ginamit niya pong word ay Gregorio. "Should you not watch or could you not watch with me one hour?" And then uh, Jesus continued, "Watch Gregorio and pray that you may not enter into temptation." The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Same words that were used in this verse to apply to prayer. And so for Jesus, in prayer, it is crucial that we, be, we are on guard. Diba? We are watchful. We are alert. We are focused on Him. Not on the enemy. Some people are thinking, we need to be focused on the enemy. No, no, it's not what the... Although we, are, we should be aware what, what the enemy is doing in our lives, but in prayer, our focus is not the enemy. Nakuha niyo po? Ang focus natin si Lord. Kasi si Lord ang nagbibigay sa atin ng lakas. Ang Lord ang tumutugon sa ating panalangin. And so we need to be alert so that we are attentive to God's activity, God's work in our lives. And so, crucial po yan ang attitude, mga kapatid, na yung pagiging... Uh, watchful or pagiging uh, tayo to alert. Ayan. Paying attention to the Lord is crucial in our prayer life. Importante po yan, mga kapatid. And that's why we need to get rid of any um, distractions in prayer. Ang tawag ko po dyan sa mga distractions, by the way, ay prayer killer. Meron po mga prayer killer. Yung pag inalaw mo yung mga distractions na yan sa buhay mo, Magpe-pray ka eh, no? It will ruin your prayer time. Di ba? Ano po yung mga prayer killers? First, unhealthy emotion. Kayo po ba, may, may time na lalapit kayo kay Lord, tapos you don't feel like praying. You don't feel like praying. Uh, what do you do kapag hindi nyo nararamdaman na gusto nyo mag-pray? Pe-pray ka, pero parang, do you allow your mood to hinder you sa prayer? Sometimes, no? Sometimes, ako ay admit, minsan yung mga, uh, yung mood, we allow to hinder our prayer time. I want to uh, give you to you this uh, warning, or you need to beware, mga kapatid, of your emotions. Yung emotions po natin, pwede po yung mabago if we come to the Lord in prayer. But do not let your mood to set, set or dictate your prayer life. Why? Because your emotions can be deceiving. And so, when you come to God in prayer, and you don't feel like praying, ano po ang, ang kailangan natin gawin? Sabi po ni Timothy Keller, If you don't feel like praying, pray to God to give you the desire. Pray to God to give you the desire. So you need to get rid of that unhealthy emotion, because these unhealthy emotions may come in as we come to God in prayer. We need to be aware of, of those traps. Another uh, 
uh, distraction or prayer killer is yung sleepiness. Kayo po ba ay pag nagpe-pray, minsan inaantok? Minsan nag-iisip kayo, araw ko ba yung matutulog o mananalangin? May option kang ganun eh. Ano? ba? Diba? Minsan, uh, ah, tulog na lang ako. Minsan, magpe-pray ka, dadiretso na ang tulog, no? Kaya ang haba ng prayer, umaga na kapag amen, no? Sa haba na. Pinagsa- Takatang- <laughs> Pinagsama yung prayer at yung tulog, eh, no? Ano niyo po, mahirap talaga labanan ng tulog. Ang, ano, ang antok. Tama ba? Mahirap daw, eh. Kaya po, merong pong quote, eh, no? Mahirap labanan ang antok, kaya kinampiyan ko na lang. Di ba yung sinabi sa, sa isang social media post? Mahirap daw labanan ng anto, kaya kinampihan na lang. Mahirap talaga labanan, ano? Kayo po, tanongin ko po kayo. How will you overcome sleepiness in prayer? Ano po kung anong technique, mga kapatid? Yung prayer time po ninyo, huwag niyong iseset sa time that you are so exhausted. Yung, ano po, galing ka sa isang mahabang, sa work, tapos nag-commute ka pa, tapos pag mo, nagluto ka pa, tapos pinakain mo pa yung anak mo. Pagpasok mo doon sa room mo, Nakita mo, attractive yung kamay, no? gusto mo nang humigay. No? Tama ba? And so, if you are, if you feel na sleepy, you, you read to set time na yung gising na gising ka pa, yung alerto pa ang isipan mo, ka makakapag-pray ka. Tama ba? And that's why, ito, ito recommendation ko sa inyo, no? it's really good, the best time to pray is when you wake up in the morning because ang isipan mo talagang gising na gising, ano? Although iba, medyo inaanto pa. Pero clear, ano, malinaw ang iyong pag-iisip. Uh, you are still not burdened by uh, so many things. I'm not saying that uh, you should not pray in the evening, but what I want to tell you, mga kapatid, is you need to organize your life in such a way that your prayer time will not be, um, hindi siya makokompromise no, sa inyong pang-araw-araw na buhay. No? Because sabi nga ni Jesus, no, yung... Sleepiness, talagang pwede makahinder siya sa ating uh, prayer life. Another uh, prayer killer is yung preoccupied mind. Yung isipan natin habang nagpe-pray tayo, ibang nasa isip natin eh. Nangyari na ba sa inyo yun? prayer tayo, kunyari, uh, pray tayo together, congregational. Tapos yung isip mo, ano kayang kakainin ko mamaya after, <laughs> after the service? Saan kaya kami kakain ng family ko? Di ba? preoccupied yung isip mo. Or maybe hindi yung bagay na gagawin mo. Maybe it's preoccupied by the current anxiety. Diba? Minsan pag anxious ka, parang hindi ka makalapit kay Lord sa prayer kasi ang, yung isip mo, puno-puno ng pag-aalala. Nalala ko, there was a, a person that I know, nangyari sa kanya, siya po ay nag-thesis defense. At doon po sa thesis defense, syempre, nakakakaba po yan, no? Tatanungin ka ng mga panel. And uh, she was there, no? Uh, kabahado siya, talagang pe-pray siya kay Lord. Talagang pray siya ng pray sa Panginoon. At nung time na yun, tinanong na siya ng panel. No? At kanyang sinagot yung panel, Yes, Lord! <laughs> na, nagkamali na siya no? ng, ano, ng tawag doon sa panel. <laughs> Natawag niya ng Lord. No? Nangyari na ba sa inyo yun? Na, yung kausa mo, Lord, na <laughs> natawag mo ng Lord. Parang minsan yung mga CE pag nagkikita kami, Lord! <laughs> Ako po si Pastor Ol, no? What I mean is, if there are uh, something sa isipan natin na it can, ano eh, uh, pag-preoccupied tayo, talagang madidistract tayo. But if you're anxious, what did uh, the Apostle Paul tell us about anxiety and prayer? Natutunan natin to sa first week no, ng ating uh, series, that prayer and anxiety do not go together. So if you're anxious, what should you do? You need to come to God in prayer so that He will grant you peace. That's the most immediate uh, response of God sa atin sa panalangin. 100% po yan. Pag ikaw ay anxious, lumapit ka kay Lord, sabi niya, that's His promise. He will grant you inner peace. So yan po ang susi, mga kapatid. Kapag ikaw po ay preoccupied ng mind, anxious, nag-aalala ka, just come to the Lord in prayer and ask God to remove worries and distractions and so that you will be able to focus in your prayer. The last attitude na gusto ko pong i-share sa inyo, I'm sure, alam, alam nyo po ito, no? the attitude of 
thankfulness. Importante po na sa pagpe-pray natin, hindi lang tayo hingi ng hingi. Kayo po ba, uh, pagka po ang isang tao, hingi lang ng hingi, at hindi naman marunong magpasalamat. Di ba parang, parang nakakatamad, no? Pero ang Lord naman, di naman siya tinatamad magbigay sa atin, no? Alam niyo ba, God is so generous. But He wants us to be thankful sa Kanya. Lagi tayong magpasalamat. And ang sabi ni Paul dyan, ano, with thanksgiving. Sabi sa uh, NIV, being watchful and thankful. Habang ikaw ay nagpe-pray, dapat ikaw ay alerto and at the same time, you are thankful. By the way, uh, we read in Philippians chapter uh, 4 verse 6 no, that when we come to God in prayer, dapat ay merong thanksgiving. No? With thanksgiving. So in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And so what do these verses uh, tell us? Ano principle na pwede natin makita rito, mga kapatid? Crucial po sa pagpananalangin po natin ang ating pong pagpapasalamat sa Panginoon. Kayo po ba nagpapasalamat sa Lord? O nakakalimutan na natin magpasalamat? Ano po, let me share this principle. Giving thanks to God is the key to an enjoyable prayer life. Do you agree, mga kapatid? May time ba na paglapit mo kay Lord, hindi mo alam kung anong sasabihin mo kay Lord? You are out of words. You're totally out of words. Ano po ang key? So that you will not be out of words. You begin your prayer with thanksgiving. Begin to enumerate the blessings, the benefits that you have received from our Father in heaven. And you will be surprised. You will be amazed because you will see that God never ceases to work in your life and He never ceases to give what is good for His children. You will be amazed, mga kapatid. And that's why it sets a positive spirit within you whenever you come to God in prayer and you are thankful sa Kanya. Try niyo po yan, mga kapatid. Kaya po, kung meron po ako may isasuggest sa inyo na gawin about thanksgiving, to keep a record of journal, journal your prayer items, mga kapatid. Ilista niyo po yung mga tinutugon ng Panginoon sa panalangin. And you will be amazed, mga kapatid. There are so many blessings that God has given you na pwedeng hindi natin napapansin kasi nakafocus tayo minsan sa problema, hindi natin nakikita yung mga ginagawa ng Panginoon sa atin. But when we, whenever we are thankful to the Lord, we are, we are becoming aware of what, he is going, uh, of what He is doing in our lives. So it develops a positive spirit po sa atin. So importante po, mga kapatid, na magpasalamat po tayo. Ngayon pong araw na to, ito siguro, I just want you to think about what are the blessings or benefits that you are thankful to God for? Meron po ba kayong gusto ipagpasalamat sa Panginoon? Ano po, the, yung palang pagising nyo ngayong umaga, na ikaw ay nakabangon, ano? Nakatayo ka sa iyong higaan. It's a blessing from the Lord. Di ba? Maybe we, we overlook that, but it's really a blessing from the Lord. Bukod pa doon, yung napakarami mga pagpapalang uh, material, and most especially spiritual, na ipinagkakalob ng ating Ama sa Langit. So prayer should always should be a habit for every believer. Yan nga, sabi nga po uh, dito, always, we need to always include thanksgiving in our prayer. So in my case, mga kapatid, I have experienced this. Many times, sa pagpe-pray, minsan parang yung mood, di ba? Uh, we, we are not in the right mood, but when you start with thanksgiving sa Panginoon, it changes everything, mga kapatid. And God wants us to be thankful sa Kanya. Ano po kung bakit? Because ungrateful heart will, will uh, result in a life, a compromised life. Ungrateful heart or ingratitude always leads to a compromised life. We see that in the history of Israel, in the Old Testament for, uh, to be particular, Nakita natin ano, kung paano sila hinango ng Diyos. No? Mula dun sa Egypt, mababasa natin dun sa record of uh, five books of Moses, particularly Exodus to uh, Deuteronomy. And God has done mighty works sa kanila. God has given them daily food to eat, every day. Pero never silang, nag, pagising nila sa umaga, dumating yung kanilang kakainin, never silang nagpasalamat sa Panginoon. 
In fact, God, yun ang reklamo ng Lord sa kanila. Ang, ang mga uh, Israelita, sabi niya, dun sa panahon na yon, nung time na yon, ah, ay very ungrateful. Lagi silang nanunumbat sa Panginoon. They were grumbling against God. Yun ang reklamo niya kina Moises. Ano? These stiff-necked people, yung hindi marunong mag-appreciate, hindi marunong magpasalamat. Ang dami ginawa ng Lord sa kanila, pinalaya sila from slavery. And yet, that is the same words na gina- binabanggit nila pag may problem sila. Bakit mo pa kami inalis dito sa, ano, sa Egypt? Gado-ganda na ng aming buhay dito. Which is a lie. Hindi maganda ang buhay nila doon. They were slaves. At pinahirapan talaga sila. And yet, they did not have a grateful heart towards God. And so, lumayo po ang kanilang mga puso doon sa kalooban ng ating Panginoon. And God has to, noong time na yun, doon na po sila namatay sa wilderness. Hindi ba? There are only a few people who were able to, hindi lahat ng mga na nadon sa wilderness ay uh, nakapunta doon sa lupang pangako. So what does it tell us, mga kapatid? Kailangan po tayong magpasalamat. Ano yun po kung bakit? Dahil nga, gusto ng Diyos na tayo nagpapasalamat sa Kanya. And it helps us in our prayer life. Kung tayo po ay lagi nagpapasalamat. So we need to change our attitude, mga kapatid, in prayer. And so let me end by this reflection questions. Uh, this is something you, uh, you can uh, ponder uh, even ma- after our service or even ngayong oras na ito, mga kapatid. Think about these things. Do I exhibit the right attitude in prayer? Or am I be- becoming... Uh, distracted in a prayer? I'm not focused. Am I um, having the wrong attitude in prayer? I'm not thankful. I'm always complaining sa Panginoon. Number two, what adjustments should I make sa pananalangin? Huh? I don't know, mga kapatid, what God is telling you sa oras po na ito. But we need to change our attitude in prayer because Right attitude in prayer is crucial so that our prayer life will be deepened and our prayer life will be revitalized. So sa oras po na ito, tayo po ay, uh, I would like to uh, challenge you na tayo po yung manalangin. Let us pray. Father God, maraming maraming salamat po for all the blessings, for all the benefits that you never fail to give us. You are a good father, Panginoon. And forgive us for the times, Lord, na kami po ay hindi na nagfo-focus sa prayer. In fact, we are distracted. Ang dami namin mga gustong or pure ko pa ang aming isipan while we are talking to you in prayer. Lord, even today, Lord, as we are praying, there may be some distractions sa aming mga buhay. Lord, help us by your grace to overcome uh, these distractions. And help us, Lord, as we pursue having right attitude in prayer. Father God, salamat po. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen, amen. Purihin po ang Panginoon. Sige po, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. God, uh, be praised. I will continue to worship God as uh, oras po na ito. And uh, this time, we will uh, give back to God. No? Uh, not because we are repaying Him. We cannot repay the Lord. But because of we acknowledge that He is our provider. You know? And uh, we do this as an act of faith. No? Yung ating pong pagkakaloob sa Kanya. Tayo po yung manalangin. Salamat po, Panginoon, dahil Ikaw ang aming provider. And we want to honor you, Panginoon. We are thankful, Lord, sa iyong mga ginawa at ipinagkalob sa amin. And may you bless these resources, Panginoon, so that it will be used for the expansion of your kingdom. Salamat po sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen.
Praise be to God. Um, as we proceed, uh, let me just uh, remind us of some important announcements. So, para nakita natin kanina dito yung mga newly baptized members natin and those uh, who have completed yung ating pong uh, classes, equipping classes, we'll be welcoming them next week po. Ano? So, reminder lang po sa lahat. Uh, we'll be here, uh, having right hand uh, next Sunday. And uh, another announcement po, um, para po sa mga, hindi lang po sa kalalakihan ito, no? but even sa uh, bawat isa po sa atin. If you want to be part of a growth group, kung, kung di pa po kayo nakaka-join sa GG, we would like to encourage you. No? So you can be part of a GG by staying. Uh, mag-wait po kayo for a few minutes dun po sa labas and some people will be uh, parang uh, assisting you to be part of a small group, of a growth group. Okay, so uh, please uh, um, set aside uh, some uh, a small portion of your time, na, at mga 30 minutes, na, to be with uh, brothers and sisters in the Lord para sa ating mga GG. Okay ba, mga kapatid? So, uh, another announcement po, if you have a prayer request, uh, meron po tayo dyan sa ating bulletin, dyan sa binubuksan niyo pong bulletin, may part po dyan na prayer request, and if you want us to pray for you, you can simply write down your prayer request and leave it there sa ating uh, table ng mga ushers. Because every Wednesday, we have uh, intercessors uh, uh, during the afternoon na nananalangin po dito para sa inyong mga prayer requests. So that's how we can actually uh, uh, minister to you. Uh, we, we want to minister to you in prayer. So, kung kayo naman po ay may immediate prayer na hindi na kailangan antayin pa ng Wednesday, we have our leaders here who can assist you. Just approach each one of us, any one of us, uh, na mag pray po kayo right at this, uh, after the service. Okay? So, just tell us mga kapatid. I-approach lang po ang ating mga, mga leaders. Okay? So, lastly, I would like to announce to you na we only have a few weeks for our uh, church camp. No? So our church camp will be held on, on November 2 to 4. So kung hindi pa po kayo registered, uh, we would like to encourage you to register. No? We have been praying for this camp and we have been uh, preparing and uh, we would love to fellowship with you there. It's our prayer na uh, hindi lang mag-provide si Lord ng pang-registration uh, nyo, but it's our prayer that God will also minister to you uh, through our uh, family camp. Okay, so uh, gusto rin natin pong i-welcome ang ating mga first-timers. Uh, do we have first-timers, mga kapatid? Can, uh, pwede, po ba kay, pwede po ba ninyong tingnan ng inyong mga paligid kung may mga bagong muka? Bagong muka. Meron po ba? Ayun, may bagong muka si Mami. Welcome po, Mami. Uh, sige po, pwede po kayong tumayo. Meron pa po ba dyan sa likod? Sige po, uh, don't be uh, shy, mga kapatid. Ayan. So, welcome po. Uh, we, we are happy to have you here. And sana po makabalik po kayo uh, sa susunod. Sige po, uh, please take your seats. Uh, praise be to God. And so, before we end, let me greet our, our birthday celebrants then uh, this week. By the way, si Pastor Nelson ay birthday po nung 12 pa. Hinabol lang natin because ang nakarecord sa kanya ay December 12. Ano? Pero October 12 po pala siya. So, happy birthday, Pastor Nelson. Nasaan man kayo? Nanonood po yan ng ating online. Uh, dahil siya po ay nag uh, speak po sa ating uh, daughter church sa uh, doon sa Silang. Yeah. And uh, happy birthday din po kay Brother Robert Conrada. Uh, dito ko siya. Parang nandito siya, no? Uh, sa third service. First. Yan. Yeah. Isa sa mga musicians po natin. Si Sister Mika, Mika, yung komanta uh, rin kanina. Happy birthday po sa 17. Brother Christian Labaho, 18. And uh, Brother Ian Honrada. Ayan, tumutugtog din yan si Kuya Ian. So, happy birthday po sa lahat po ng mga celebrants. Okay? So, uh, isa pa po, if you have uh, people uh, na kilala nyo po na nasa Kalamba, ano, if you have uh, friends, uh, there is uh, a regular worship service every last Saturday of the month dun po sa McDonald's Mayapa. Ano? So if you can invite them, uh, you can uh, tell us or kay uh, E. James no, 
uh, ma- ma-invite po natin sila, yung ating po mga uh, kakilala. No? Lahat ng mga key po ninyo, sabihan nyo, na naroroon. Mga kapatid, <laughs> kaibigan, kamag-anak, kapuso. Sabi ni Ate Carmelita, mga kapatid kaaway. No? <laughs> Invite nyo lahat, para mga Christian po sila. Alright, so, anyway, it's uh, 12.30. Tayo po lahat ay tumayo and let's uh, uh, thank the Lord sa oras po na ito. Lord, salamat po sa panibagong taon na binagay niyo sa aming mga kapatid na nagsa-celebrate ng birthday. Salamat din dahil marami kang mga bagong kaluluwa na inililigtas through this church and through our outreach ministries. We are in awe of your uh, goodness, in awe of your grace, Panginoon, sa church po na ito. And we are uh, looking forward, Panginoon, sa mga patuloy mo pang gagawin sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin at sa buhay namin ng aming iglesia. We thank you, Lord, sa araw po na ito. Nawa lumabas kami ng lugar na ito with a grateful heart, acknowledging your works in our lives. Now to Him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of His glory with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time, now and forever. Amen, amen, amen. Marami salamat po and have a blessed week po. Salamat po, Pastor. Uh, bago po tayo maghiwa-hiwalay, let's all sing, This is my Father's World. This is my Father's World And to my listening ears All nature sings and round me rings The music This is my father's world. I rest in the thought of rocks and trees, of skies and seas, and the wonders wrought. Oh, 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 This is my